after the passing of beloved actress Margaret Sullivan, her daughter revealing the shocking details of her mother's love triangle with none other than Jimmy Stewart and Henry Fonda. The truth behind the glamour was more scandalous than anyone could have imagined. Sullivan, a successful actress in her own right, found herself entangled in a complicated relationship with both Stewart and Fonda during the height of their film careers. The three had worked together in the 1936 film The Moon's Are Home, which brought them closer together. The public was unaware of the tumultuous love triangle that unfolded behind the scenes. However, Sullivan's daughter, Bridget, decided to set the record straight in her memoir, All About Mother. According to Bridget, her mother's relationship with Stuart was more than just a fleeting affair. The two had a deep connection that lasted for years, even after Sullivan married Fonda in 1931. Despite their marriage, Sullivan and Stuart continued to see each other secretly, causing a great deal of tension and heartache. The love triangle came to a head when Fonda discovered Sullivan's affair with Stuart. The revelation led to a bitter divorce, and the three actors went their separate ways. However, the impact of the love triangle lingered for years. It affected their personal lives and careers, leaving a trail of heartbreak and scandal in its wake. The story of Margaret Sullivan, Jimmy Stewart, and Henry Fonda is a reminder that even the most glamorous lives can be fraught with heartache and drama. The truth behind the love triangle may be more scandalous than anyone could have imagined. But it's also a testament to the complexities of human relationships. Growing up, the actor known as James Stewart was a shy and reserved child. He often spent his time alone, lost in his own world of dreams and imagination. Among his daydreams, he envisioned a future career in aviation. This interest was sparked by his father, who worked as a federal judge and had a pilot's license. The young actor would often accompany his father on flights, which fueled his passion for flying even more. In addition to his love for aviation, the actor also had a deep appreciation for music. He had a particular affinity for the accordion, and his playing became a fixture throughout his entire life. His love for music provided him with a sense of comfort and solace during his solitary childhood. As he grew older, his musical talents would also serve as a source of entertainment for his friends and family. Despite his shy demeanor, the actor's hobbies and interests helped shape him into the person he would become. His passion for aviation would eventually lead him to a successful career in the film industry where he would become known for his roles in films such as It's a Wonderful Life and The Philadelphia Story. Meanwhile, his love for music would remain a constant companion, providing him with a creative outlet and a source of joy throughout his life. After graduating from high school, the actor, urged by his father, attended Princeton University where he was awarded a generous scholarship for his graduate studies. His time at Princeton was formative, shaping his passion for the arts. Upon graduating from Princeton, the actor decided to pursue his love for the stage and joined a theater company. It was during this time that he met Henry Fonda and Margaret Sullivan, two individuals who would have a significant impact on his career. The actor's decision to join a theater company proved to be a pivotal moment in his life, launching him into the world of acting and setting the stage for his future successes. The actor's natural talent and dedication to his craft quickly caught the attention of his peers and mentors. He honed his skills and developed his unique style, eventually becoming one of the most respected and beloved actors of his time. In addition to his work in theater, the actor also made a name for himself in film, appearing in a number of classic movies that continue to be celebrated and enjoyed by audiences today. Despite his many accomplishments, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft, always striving to improve and push himself to new heights. The actor's contributions to the world of theater and film are immeasurable, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. His work is a testament to the power of dedication, hard work, and a passion for the arts. Whether on stage or screen, the actor's performances are a true joy to behold, and his impact on the world of acting is indelible. After graduating from Princeton University, the actor moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. It was there that he met Margaret Sullivan, an accomplished stage actress who would become a significant influence in his life. The actor developed feelings for Sullivan, but she married Henry Fonda in 1931, leaving the actor heartbroken. Despite this setback, the actor persevered and signed a contract with MGM in 1936. However, his film career didn't take off immediately. 
He initially struggled to find his footing in Hollywood and felt unsure of himself in his new roles. Thankfully, Sullivan remembered the actor's talent and helped him land a role in the film Next Time We Love in 1936. This opportunity gave the actor the confidence boost he needed to continue pursuing his acting career. Throughout his career, the actor remained grateful for Sullivan's support and often credited her with helping him get his start in Hollywood. He went on to become one of the most beloved actors of his time, known for his charming personality and Everman appeal. In addition to his acting career, the actor was also known for his dedication to his craft and his commitment to supporting his fellow actors. He was a true professional who always gave his best in every role, and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. In 1935, the actor, then in his late 20s, had a brief romance with the talented and glamorous Ginger Rogers. This encounter marked a significant milestone in his life, as it was revealed that Rogers took his virginity. However, their relationship was short-lived, and they parted ways, with the actor continuing to focus on his blossoming film career. In 1938, the actor collaborated once again with Margaret Sullivan in The Shopworn Angel. By this time, he had already gained considerable fame and experience in the film industry. During this period, he also had romantic interests in other notable Hollywood figures such as Norma Shearer and Loretta Young. Despite these connections, the actor was not yet ready to settle down and commit to a serious relationship. Throughout his bachelorhood, the actor maintained a busy and exciting career in film, working with various talented individuals and leaving a lasting impact on the industry. His romantic exploits, while numerous, did not deter him from his passion for acting and entertaining audiences around the world. In the early years of his film career, the actor found himself involved in a romantic affair with co-star Marlene Dietrich during the filming of Destroy Rides Again in 1939. This secret relationship added an extra layer of complexity to their on-screen chemistry, creating a captivating dynamic that translated well onto the silver screen. However, their affair came to a sudden end when Dietrich became pregnant and decided to have an abortion. The following year, 1940, proved to be a breakthrough year for the actor. He starred in the film The Philadelphia Story, which earned him critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Actor. This recognition solidified his position as a leading man in Hollywood and paved the way for future successes. Despite the challenges he faced in his personal life, the actor remained focused on his craft and continued to deliver compelling performances that resonated with audiences. His ability to captivate audiences with his charm and talent made him a beloved figure in the world of film and his contributions to the industry will always be cherished. After enlisting in the army at the height of World War II, the actor became a pilot, eventually rising to the rank of colonel. The war had a profound impact on him, causing him stress and leading to a noticeable change in his demeanor upon his return. Frank Capra recognized this change and decided to cast him in the film It's a Wonderful Life. At the time of its release, the film wasn't initially successful, but it later became a classic. The actor's portrayal of George Bailey, a man contemplating suicide on Christmas Eve, resonated with audiences and has since become a beloved holiday tradition. The war had deeply affected the actor, and it showed in his performance. His character's struggle with despair and the weight of the world on his shoulders was a reflection of the actor's own experiences during the war. Despite the initial failure of the film, it has since become a classic, and the actor's performance is widely regarded as one of his best. The war had left an indelible mark on the actor, and his return to Hollywood was marked by a newfound seriousness and depth in his performances. It's a Wonderful Life was the perfect vehicle for him to showcase this new side of himself, and it has since become a timeless classic. The film's exploration of themes such as redemption, the value of human life, and the power of community struck a chord with audiences and has made it a beloved holiday tradition for generations. After facing anxiety during the filming of The Philadelphia Story, the actor, with encouragement from his peers, was able to overcome his fears and deliver a successful performance. This experience, however, did not deter him from working with renowned director Alfred Hitchcock. Despite their successful collaborations in the past, the actor was passed over for the lead role in North by Northwest due to his age. This decision came as a surprise to many, as the actor had previously worked with Hitchcock in the critically acclaimed film Rear Window. The actor's anxiety during the filming of The Philadelphia Story was a challenging experience for him, 
but he was able to push through with the support of his colleagues. His ability to overcome his fears and deliver a strong performance is a testament to his resilience and dedication to his craft. Even though the actor was not given the opportunity to work with Hitchcock in North by Northwest, their previous collaborations had already left a lasting impact on the film industry. The actor's contributions to the world of film continue to be celebrated and cherished by audiences to this day. Through his hard work and determination, the actor was able to establish himself as a respected and accomplished thespian in the industry. His ability to convey complex emotions and portray nuanced characters has left an indelible mark on the film industry and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Despite the challenges he faced, the actor remained dedicated to his craft and continued to deliver captivating performances in the shows and films he worked on. His ability to push through adversity and overcome his fears is a true testament to his talent and resilience as an actor. After years of being a bachelor, the actor married Gloria Hattrick McLean in 1949, marking the beginning of a new chapter in his life. The couple went on to have a family of their own, adopting two sons and having twin daughters together. However, tragedy struck when the actor's eldest son was killed in Vietnam, a loss that deeply affected him. The actor's marriage to Margaret Sullivan, his co-star in several films, had ended in 1948. Sullivan's death in 1960 deeply affected the actor, adding to the grief he was already experiencing from the loss of his son. Despite these challenges, the actor continued to work in the film industry, always remembered for his memorable roles and contributions. Throughout his life, the actor's focus was always on his family and his work. He was a devoted husband and father, and his love for his family was evident in how he cherished and cared for them. His marriage to Gloria Hattrick McLean and the birth of his children brought him great joy, and the loss of his eldest son was a devastating blow. Yet, he remained strong and continued to move forward, always remembered for his resilience and determination. As the years went on, the actor's reputation remained mostly unsullied. However, a revelation about an affair with actress Margaret Sullivan did surface, but it didn't significantly damage his standing in the industry or with his fans. Stewart never remarried after his wife's death in 1994, and he was deeply affected by her passing. His later years were marked by a quieter life, away from the limelight. Despite his retirement from acting, he remained a beloved figure in Hollywood. In 1997, the nation mourned when the actor passed away at the age of 89. His contributions to the world of film were significant, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. The actor's ability to portray complex emotions and create unforgettable characters left an indelible mark on the film industry. Throughout his career, the actor's work in films like It's a Wonderful Life and Rear Window captured the hearts of audiences and solidified his place as a Hollywood icon. His ability to bring characters to life in a way that felt authentic and relatable set him apart from his peers. Even in his final years, the actor's impact was still being fellow lieutenant. His contributions to the film industry will continue to be celebrated for generations to come. The actor's legacy is a testament to his talent and dedication to his craft. As the years passed, the actor's influence only grew stronger. His work in film continued to inspire and entertain audiences, and his reputation as a talented and respected actor remained intact. Despite the challenges he faced in his personal life, the actor remained a beloved figure in Hollywood. In the end, the actor's legacy was defined by his ability to create memorable characters and tell compelling stories. His contributions to the world of film will never be forgotten, and his impact on the industry will continue to be felt for years to come. The actor's work will continue to resonate with audiences, and his place in Hollywood history is secure. In the glittering world of Hollywood, James Stewart left an indelible mark as a gifted actor and a man of integrity. Born on May 20, 1908, in Indiana, Pennsylvania, Stewart's journey in the film industry was nothing short of remarkable. After graduating from Princeton University, Stewart pursued acting and quickly made a name for himself in the late 1930s. His boyish charm, coupled with his remarkable talent, made him a favorite among audiences and critics alike. In 1940, Stewart won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in the Philadelphia story which further solidified his status as a Hollywood heavyweight. During World War II, Stewart served as a pilot in the United States Army Air Forces, earning him the respect and admiration of the American public. 
After the war, he returned to Hollywood and continued to deliver captivating performances in films such as It's a Wonderful Life, Rear Window, and Vertigo. Stewart's contributions to the film industry transcended generations and genres. He was a versatile actor who could play a range of roles, from the all-American boy next door to complex and darker characters. His ability to connect with audiences and deliver authentic performances made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. Stewart's impact on the film industry is still felt today, and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers. His work is a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of great acting. Even now, generations later, we can step into his films and be transported to another time and place, captivated by his talent and the stories he brought to life. Born on May 20, 1908, in Indiana, Pennsylvania, James Stewart was the son of a hardware store owner. His family encouraged his early interest in theater, and he began performing in local productions. After high school, Stewart attended Princeton University, where he studied architecture but continued to act in school plays. A key influence in Stewart's life was his mentor, Joshua Logan, a Princeton alumnus and Broadway director. Logan recognized Stewart's talent and cast him in several college productions. After graduation, Stewart followed Logan to New York City, where he struggled to find work as an actor. In 1932, Stewart joined the University Players, a summer stock theater company in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. There, he met Henry Fonda, who became a lifelong friend and collaborator. The University Players provided Stewart with valuable experience and exposure leading to his Broadway debut in 1934. Meanwhile, Hollywood began taking notice of Stewart's talent. In 1935, MGM offered him a contract, but Stewart declined, preferring to hone his craft on stage. However, after appearing in several successful Broadway productions, Stewart reconsidered and signed with MGM in 1935. His early film career was marked by supporting roles but his big break came in 1938 with the lead role in Frank Capra's You Can't Take It With You. Stewart's upbringing, education, and early experiences in theater shaped his successful film career. His Midwestern values and everman charm resonated with audiences, and his collaborations with directors like Capra and Anthony Mann cemented his status as a Hollywood legend. Throughout his life, Stewart remained grateful for the mentors and experiences that guided him on his path to stardom. Growing up on a farm in Indiana, Pennsylvania, James Stewart's first taste of performing came at a young age. As a child, he loved to put on puppet shows for his friends and family using a handmade stage and a cast of puppets crafted from socks. This early introduction to storytelling sparked a lifelong passion for acting. In high school, Stewart's talents were recognized by his drama teacher, who encouraged him to pursue acting professionally. After graduating, Stewart attended Princeton University, where he continued to hone his craft, participating in various theater productions, and even serving as president of the Triangle Club, a prestigious performance group. Following his college graduation, Stewart briefly considered a career in architecture, but ultimately decided to follow his heart and pursue acting. He moved to New York City and began studying at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. It was there that Stewart's natural talent and dedication truly shone, leading to his big break in 1935 when he was cast in his first Broadway play, Page Miss Glory. From that point on, Stewart's star continued to rise, eventually leading him to Hollywood and a successful film career. His passion for acting never wavered, and he continued to captivate audiences with his unique charm and undeniable talent for decades to come. From his humble beginnings on a Pennsylvania farm to his storied career in film, James Stewart's creative spark was ignited by a love of storytelling and a desire to bring joy to others through his art. Born in 1908, James Stewart grew up during tough economic times. His family struggled financially, often moving to find work. Despite these hardships, Stewart's resilience shone through. He found solace in acting, participating in school plays and local theater. When Stewart decided to pursue a career in Hollywood, he faced skepticism from industry professionals. At six feet tall and lanky, he didn't fit the typical leading man mold. However, Stewart's unique charm and talent captivated audiences, and he soon found success. One of Stewart's early challenges was finding roles that showcased his versatility. He refused to be typecast and sought out diverse characters. In the film Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Stewart played a naive and idealistic senator 
a role that highlighted his ability to portray complex emotions. Stewart's creative solutions to industry obstacles included taking on roles in lesser-known films and working with up-and-coming directors. This strategy allowed him to hone his craft and take risks, ultimately leading to his breakthrough role in The Philadelphia Story. Stewart's resilience and determination helped him overcome early financial struggles and industry skepticism. His legacy as a versatile and captivating actor continues to resonate with audiences today. In 1935, a young man named James Stewart made his first breakthrough when he secured a contract with MGM, one of Hollywood's most prominent studios. This opportunity provided him with a chance to work alongside renowned actors and directors, honing his craft and establishing himself in the industry. Stewart's career reached new heights in 1939 when he starred in Frank Capra's Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. His portrayal of an idealistic and honest young senator resonated with audiences and earned him his first Academy Award nomination. Critics praised Stewart's ability to convey vulnerability and determination, solidifying his status as a leading man. In the 1940s, Stewart took a break from acting to serve in World War II as a bomber pilot. His return to Hollywood in 1946 marked another turning point in his career. He starred in Alfred Hitchcock's It's a Wonderful Life, a film that has since become a holiday classic. Stewart's nuanced performance as George Bailey, a man grappling with despair and the value of his own life, earned him his second Academy Award nomination. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Stewart continued to challenge himself with diverse roles, including his portrayal of a troubled gunfighter in The Man from Laramie and a retired detective in Anatomy of a Murder. His work in these films, as well as his collaborations with directors such as John Ford and Anthony Mann, further cemented his reputation as a versatile and talented actor. In 1965, Stewart received an honorary Academy Award for his lifetime achievements in film. This recognition underscored his impact on the industry and the enduring legacy of his work. Throughout his career, James Stewart's breakthrough moments were marked by his ability to connect with audiences and deliver compelling performances. His collaborators and peers often spoke of his dedication to his craft and his unique ability to bring depth and humanity to his roles. Even today, Stewart's work continues to inspire and captivate audiences, solidifying his place as a true Hollywood legend. James Stewart's artistic vision and process were deeply rooted in his personal experiences and values. Born on May 20, 1908, in Indiana, Pennsylvania, Stewart was known for his genuine and down-to-earth demeanor, which he brought to every role. Stewart's approach to acting was characterized by his meticulous preparation and attention to detail. He believed in fully immersing himself in a character, often conducting extensive research and even incorporating elements of his own personality into the roles he played. This unique approach allowed Stewart to create nuanced and authentic performances that resonated with audiences. One of the key aspects of Stewart's style was his ability to convey a sense of vulnerability and Everman charm. He often played ordinary men facing extraordinary circumstances, and his relatable and authentic performances helped to endear him to audiences. Stewart's ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance was one of his greatest strengths as an actor. Stewart's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. Having served as a bomber pilot during World War II, Stewart brought a sense of duty and honor to his roles, often playing characters who embodied these values. He was also known for his quiet strength and resilience, which were qualities that he brought to many of his performances. Despite his success, Stewart remained humble and grounded throughout his career. He was deeply committed to his craft and was known for his professionalism and dedication to every project he undertook. His unique approach to acting, combined with his genuine and authentic performances, helped to establish him as one of the most beloved and respected actors of his time. James Stewart's impact and influence on the film industry are significant. Known for his everman charm, Stewart's acting style shifted the industry's focus from larger-than-life stars to authentic, relatable characters. Stewart's contribution to cinema includes iconic roles in films like It's a Wonderful Life and Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. His collaborations with director Alfred Hitchcock, such as Rear Window and Vertigo, showcased his versatility and cemented his place as a Hollywood great. According to film critic Leonard Maltin, James Stewart brought a new level of naturalism to acting. 
He was instrumental in changing the way actors approach their craft. This shift towards authenticity influenced future generations of actors, inspiring the likes of Paul Newman and Tom Hanks. Stewart's impact extends beyond acting techniques. His roles often explored themes of morality and integrity, inspiring discussions about these issues in post-war America. As film historian G9 Basinger notes, Stewart's characters were complex and flawed, yet ultimately decent. He embodied the values many Americans aspire to. In addition, Stewart's influence can be seen in modern storytelling. His portrayal of ordinary men in extraordinary circumstances has become a staple of contemporary cinema, from Forrest Gump to Spider-Man. As filmmaker Ava DuVernay puts it, James Stewart's legacy is one of truthfulness and humanity. He showed us that heroes can be found in the most unexpected places. This enduring influence continues to resonate with audiences and filmmakers today. James Stewart, a beloved actor known for his roles in films such as It's a Wonderful Life and Rear Window, led a life that was deeply informed by his personal values and interests outside of his professional sphere. Born on May 20, 1908, in Indiana, Pennsylvania, Stewart was the son of a hardware store owner. He developed a love for flying at a young age and would later serve as a pilot in the United States Army Air Forces during World War II. This passion for aviation would inform many of his film roles, including his portrayal of a pilot in the classic film, The Philadelphia Story. Stewart was also known for his strong sense of patriotism and civic duty. He was an active supporter of the March of Dimes and the American Red Cross, and he was also involved in various efforts to support troops overseas during World War II. In 1948, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal by the Army for his work in entertaining troops and boosting morale during the war. In addition to his philanthropic efforts, Stewart was also passionate about the arts. He was a lifelong supporter of the theater and was involved in various productions both on and off Broadway. He was also a talented musician and played the accordion in several of his films. Stewart's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his professional life. He was known for his down-to-earth personality and his ability to connect with audiences in a genuine way. He once said, I've always believed that if you want to make a film about real people, you've got to love real people. This sentiment was reflected in his work, which often explored themes of everyday life, morality, and the human condition. In conclusion, James Stewart was not only a talented actor, but also a man of deep personal values and passions. His love for flying, his commitment to civic duty, and his passion for the arts all informed his work and left a lasting impact on the film industry. James Stewart left an indelible mark on Hollywood with his versatile acting style and authentic charm. His legacy continues to resonate today, with many aspiring actors looking up to him for inspiration. Stewart's career spanned over five decades, during which he played a wide range of roles, from romantic leads to dramatic anti-heroes. He was known for his ability to convincingly portray complex and nuanced characters, which earned him numerous accolades, including five Academy Award nominations and one win. One of Stewart's most notable contributions to the industry was his role in shaping the modern American film. He starred in some of the most iconic films of all time, such as It's a Wonderful Life, Rear Window, and Vertigo, which helped to define the genre of American cinema. Stewart's advice for aspiring actors is timeless and relevant even today. He once said, Acting is not about being someone different. It's finding the similarity in what is apparently different than finding myself in there. This advice encourages actors to find their unique voice and perspective and to use that to bring depth and authenticity to their roles. Stewart also believed in the importance of hard work and dedication. He once said, I've always been a great believer in hard work. It doesn't matter if you're an actor or a janitor. The key to success is putting in the time and doing the best you can. In terms of future contributions, the film industry can continue to honor Stewart's legacy by valuing authenticity and hard work in actors, by encouraging and supporting actors who bring their unique voice and perspective to their roles. The industry can continue to create captivating and enduring films that resonate with audiences for generations to come. In conclusion, James Stewart's legacy within the film industry is one of authenticity, hard work, and versatility. His advice for aspiring actors remains relevant today, 
emphasizing the importance of finding one's unique voice and perspective and putting in the time and effort to do the best work possible. The industry can continue to honor Stewart's legacy by valuing these qualities in actors and creating films that resonate with audiences for years to come. James Stewart's journey in the entertainment industry was nothing short of remarkable. Born on May 20, 1908, in Indiana, Pennsylvania, Stewart's passion for acting began in his high school days. He later honed his skills at Princeton University, where he studied architecture, but continued to act in various stage productions. Stewart's career took off in the late 1930s when he signed a contract with MGM. He quickly made a name for himself as a talented and innovative actor, delivering memorable performances in films such as Mr. Smith Goes to Washington and The Philadelphia Story. His unique acting style, characterized by his Everman charm and genuine emotions, resonated with audiences and critics alike. Throughout his career, Stewart pushed the boundaries of his craft, taking on diverse roles that showcased his versatility as an actor. He worked with some of the most renowned directors of his time, including Alfred Hitchcock and Frank Capra, and his collaborations with them resulted in some of the most enduring classics in American cinema. Stewart's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. His innovative approach to acting, which emphasized authenticity and emotional depth, paved the way for future generations of actors. He showed that creativity and perseverance can lead to great success, inspiring countless individuals to pursue their passions and dreams. In the end, James Stewart's legacy is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. His unforgettable performances continue to captivate audiences reminding us all of the importance of staying true to ourselves and pursuing our passions with unwavering determination. As you reflect on the career of James Stewart, an actor who graced the silver screen for several decades, you might wonder what made his work so special. With a career spanning over 50 years and encompassing various genres, Stewart left an indelible mark on the film industry. His roles in classics like It's a Wonderful Life and Rear Window showcased his versatility and range as an actor. In the former, he portrayed George Bailey, a man who discovers the value of his life on Christmas Eve. In the latter, Stewart played LB. Jeff Jeffries, a wheelchair-bound photographer who suspects his neighbor of murder. Stewart's ability to convey complex emotions and thoughts with subtlety and nuance made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. He could make audiences laugh, cry, and feel a range of emotions, all while delivering unforgettable performances. Beyond his acting prowess, Stewart was also a trailblazer in many ways. He was one of the first actors to transition from classical theater to film, and he helped define the modern American film industry. His work resonates with audiences even today, a testament to his enduring impact. As you think about James Stewart's legacy, consider sharing your thoughts in the comments below. What are some of your favorite James Stewart films or performances? How has his work influenced your own life or the film industry as a whole? Don't forget to like and share this content with others who may be interested in learning more about the creative spirits shaping entertainment. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more insights and celebrations of the artists who have left their mark on the world.